it's a lot, you know, just like to protect my sister, which. <laughs> And how do you feel today? And she's like literally talking to them, you know? And she says some of them were just like, I don't feel good. And they were just like right there and then let, uh, told to go home. You yeah. Know? That's, I mean, that's another thing. Like people are, I, I understand. Don't over like exaggerate or don't over like get you know get chaotic or nervous or this or that mm -hmm. like sure it's a virus sure don't get all crazy cuckoo whatever but still treat it with responsibility it it is yeah. something that's going on it is something that you can get sick it is something that anybody can catch and it's something that you just have to be you know careful because you don't know like you know, exactly, you can yeah. expose, maybe you don't catch it and, you know, uh, and get horribly sick, but maybe one of your family members does and something terrible could happen. So it's like, it's, I think people should just like not over dramatize the whole thing, but they yeah. should be responsible. And if they're feeling, not feeling good, then, you know, exactly. Just stay home, ask somebody else to do your shopping and groceries or just you know what just hold it off until you feel better and that's true because my sister's actually asthmatic and a diabetic which is her mother so she's <sighs> high at risk and then they put her to do that job and she's like oh and she doesn't want to lose her job right because she's actually working but my sister stopped the whole shopping like she doesn't go out at all so that's and then her her husband's a mailman and he works. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> you know, so we come in, they come in, <laughs> they get sprayed down. Uh, they go, they take a shower immediately, throw their clothes in the washer. And um, it's a lot, you know, just like to protect my sister, which we're, we're willing to do. Me, I'm glad I was able to work remotely. But it, it's like putting others, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's scary because it puts others at risk. Like you just said, mm -hmm. it might not affect them like that because she's only 25. So she's mm -hmm. young, you know. My sister's already in her 50s. But like you said, it could get someone else real sick. Because mm -hmm. like not that. everybody has the same experience. Like, exactly. it's like any other illness or any other flu or whatever. Like, we might have the same even diabetes like diabetes like it's different for every I could have type 1 or type 2 but my mm -hmm. type 1 or type 2 is not the same as your sister or yeah. your mother or whoever because everybody has age a lifestyle and everything is a factor that can affect that thing in your body you know so yeah that's so true yeah, it's, that's why I'm just like well. trying to stay up on like we're all trying to stay up on teas, elderberry tea, um, like these supplements, and we get them at the Dollar Tree out here. These give you because it's supposedly you're supposed to have like a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, iron, mm -hmm. and zinc in your body. So we're taking like these, and we got them at the ninety nine cent store. Uh, this Dollar one is tea. really good too. Like to when you're sick. This helps a lot. Echinacea. echinacea. Okay, I got an echinacea elderberry mix. I haven't mm -hmm. taken it yet, but okay. See, we this right vitamin there. C, and then this doesn't just this is just to, yeah, because I I do fitness and supplements and stuff like that. That's oh good. My my stuff right now. I'm like in the depressed because I'm not in a gym. I mean, I still have resistance bands and I can still do workout with my body, but it's not yeah. the same. So it's like. Going from where I started, I upgraded to the gym. Now I'm like super into the gym and now it's back to basics. So it's like, uh, I have to go back. So it's yeah, like I rewiring imagine. everything again. Cause I got used to mm -hmm. weights and free weights and they helped me a lot with uh, the stage I was in life and whatnot. So it's like, now I have to go back to like beginner stage, which is fine, but it's oh, like, wow. <laughs> I'm lost again. In a way, it's like and a, then turmeric is really uh, good for inflammation and a lot of other stuff. It's amazing, and it supports uh, uh, with your immune, 
your joint, your skin, and your uh, cardiovascular diseases as well. You get some of those. I've been doing mm -hmm. vitamins as well, but um, and some stuff called Stem Alive. It's all herbal and it has like a vegan capsules, and yeah. um, they're supposed to reproduce like bad cells in your body. Mm -hmm. So I've been taking those and um, just anything vitamin C. But I drink. I was telling them I drink like every hour a hot one of these with lemon yes. and honey in it. Like, and if I was about to get sick because my boss, like the last day that we were at work, he came in barking and I was like, dude, he's like, I was in the rain. My feet got wet and now I'm sick. And I was like, oh, please stay away from me. And I can feel like, you know, you're in the yeah. environment. So I was feeling like I was getting sick and I'm like, oh, hell no. I was telling him I dealt with the anxiety the first, like maybe almost a whole week. I gave wow. up caffeine. I gave up caffeine. I gave up sugar, like any kind of sugar other than tea, um, honey. I'm sorry. And yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I was freaking out for a minute. I, literally one night, I, they they uh, treated me to Starbucks, <laughs> and I drank the Starbucks. I couldn't sleep. Right, girl. Why did I start? Okay, these this is going to this person. I started. <laughs> writing, I was like, I started writing my whole life. Okay, like. Please give this to that. My my studio equipment, you give it to my nephew. Like I started like I thought I was dead. I was in my mind I was already dead. Like I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how they were saying like they go and then they don't get to say bye to their loved ones. So I started writing everything down and I recognized I go, but wait, I didn't feel like that before I drank that damn coffee. All the sugar, uh, all the bullshit, you know, and then yeah. I was like, you know what? I, and when my body tells me something, I'm like, okay, you need to stop, Jeanette, because I was down to, like, I lost so much weight from being anemic, and, I mean, I was, like, I'm 45. I was weighing, I weighed, like, I was in, like, a size two. Wow. When that's, I first met that's, Steve. That's kind of my size. Yeah, like, I was, like, uh, I was just super skinny. I, I weighed, like, a buck ten. You know what I'm saying? And I'm small. I'm a, um, I'm not tall at all, you know? So now I gain weight and I'm okay with being chunky right now. <laughs> Girl, really, I feel better. Like I was oh, yeah. lacking a lot. I was lacking so much vitamins. So then my sister got me these uh, multivitamins, adult ones, and boom, instantly. Like I, I literally felt like I was passing out every day like oh shit I feel woozy my anxiety level was ridiculous mm -hmm. and then in between like my nails right here I started uh getting orange orange Whoa. girl I was already anemic since I was little right my mom used to make me drink pinchy hierro from the bottle right liquid <laughs> hierro fuck that and all right here uh -huh. in my lines right here it was like mm -hmm. if I was holding a rusted hammer and I looked at my sister, I go, I'm fucking turning orange, dude. And I looked sucked up. I think people even thought I was on drugs and I, I don't fuck with that, you know? Yeah. I just was, I was going through a divorce and it just all mm -hmm. kind of hit me at the same time. But uh, like no excuses, I started recognizing what was affecting me. Caffeine was not my friend. No, just, no I mean, absolutely. You know, I mean, it's not bad to consume it like every once in a while but I mean if your body is rejecting it listen to it just like you said like yeah your body is speaking in many ways like it's showing you symptoms is telling you screaming at you and showing you through whatever however it wants but it's telling yeah. you this is not good for you just stop it you can find other alternatives that are healthier for you yeah so yeah I mean far. Yeah, that was but, some shit. <laughs> but yeah, that's 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 wild. That's crazy. Yeah, I was just like, you know, it, it goes it boils down to like self love, you know, self love, self care, and all those things. Mm -hmm. I wasn't feeling loved at the time, and I'm no, really absolutely. bubbly. Uh, I always try to like uh, turn negative thoughts into positive. So I didn't think there was nothing wrong with me until my mom asked me, like, are you on drugs? I was like, bitch, you look at me like, what the hell is you talking about? <laughs> yeah, right? I was all, what? No, I sell drugs, but I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I do it. You're like, I don't do them. <laughs> <laughs> I just no, but them, lady. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. That but. shows you that you don't have to be, that shows 
the other spectrum of like uh also like you don't have to be skinny to be healthy skinny doesn't mean healthy at all and Mm -hmm. being fat doesn't like nothing at this point no size no height no whatever weight means how healthy or unhealthy you are like people like for example me and my husband we want to be bodybuilders and our regimen and the diet to be on stage is not the healthiest like we could look amazing we look our best we look but we internally we are feeling like poop because you are eliminating once you're getting closer to the obviously competition you start eliminating nutrients and carbs and sugars and all because even though you're like not having a lot of sugar is good you still need somewhat of a level of sugar it's all a balance so once you're getting closer to the competition you start eliminating everything even water oh so it's the most unhealthiest thing ever that you could possibly do to your body but it's a sport and people do it and people enjoy it just because you know obviously but not because I look my best yeah doesn't mean that I'm doing the best that you feel the best no and I agree with that absolutely I'm like right now maybe 20 pounds over there than what I want to but